boat capable of traveling at 8.5 meters per second relative to the water is on the left shore of a river with a current traveling at 3.5 meters per second relative to the shore. In what direction should the boat point in in order to go directly across the river? Well, the boat must be pointing in a direction which is slightly upstream because when the current, which is the velocity of the water relative to the shore, uh, causes the boat to drift down shore or down river, it will cause the velocity of the boat relative to the shore to have a to be directly across the river, so in this case to the right. The problem is to find that angle theta. Notice that this in this force addition diagram uh, we have a right angle triangle and we know that the velocity of the boat relative to the water is 8.5 meters per second and that the velocity of the water relative to the shore is 3.5 meters per second. So the sign of that angle will be opposite over hypotenuse so it will be 3.5 meters per second over 8.5 meters per second. So the so sign of that angle will be 0.412 and the angle will be 24 degrees. So the boat should point 24 degrees upstream as it travels across the river. Now, the second part of the problem, how long will it take for the boat to cross the river if the river is 250 meters wide? Well, we have to time is the distance divided by velocity, but which velocity will we use? In this case, we'll use the velocity of the boat relative to the shore because the distance of 250 meters is a distance relative to the shore. So, the velocity of the boat relative to the shore is going to be the velocity of the boat relative to the water times cos theta. We can see that in that uh, diagram. So it's going to be 8.5 meters per second times cos of 24 degrees. So the velocity of the boat relative to the shore will be 7.75 meters per second. The time will simply be 250 meters divided by 7.75 meters per second. So 32.3 seconds. Now to round this off, we'll look at uh, our rules for rounding off numbers. Every number in the question is given to two significant digits, so we'll round off the time to two significant digits, so it'll take 32 seconds for the boat to cross the river.